We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the San Francisco Giants and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Major League Baseball on the show is next. Walker Bueller is on the mound for the Dodgers in this contest. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matty V, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been, like, white hot. How about a whip under 1.00 in his last three starts? Not a lot of base runners, and that usually adds up to a lot of success. Let's see if he can continue to do that in this one here today. In now, Wilmer Flores. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Oh, right down Main Street with that one, two and two. 67 degrees our game time temperature. The 2-2. Two -two. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Here's the shortstop, Brandon Crawford. For his career in this matchup, he's got two hits in 16 tries. One one is a cutter that misses two and one. Dan DeRoe, you check out this Dodger team as they enter play here tonight. They come in off another victory last time out, and now they're winners of eight of their last nine ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this is a nice one. First game of a home stand. You played well on the road. You got a chance to grab a shower and sleep in your own bed last night. I bet you this team comes out on the attack today. Man, he wants that swing back. He'll be thinking about that all night. He crushed that ball. He just needs to stay back a little longer. And he takes strike three called, and it's a pair of punch outs that begin the ball game. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff good. working for him these the days. Looking back at his last start, he racked up nine Ks, hey. and now he's looking like he can put up similar numbers in this one. At the plate now, Hunter Pence. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Mike Fillmore. Hey, d -roll. Mike Fillmore, one of the most consistent umpires throughout the league. Both pitchers and position players love this guy. Yeah, I think one of the best in the business. How I judge a good teammate is every day he opens that door, is he consistent? Can I count on him? Mike Fillmore is the exact same way behind the dish. This is line to left. And Mookie will make the play, and that retires the side. So a fairly painless top of the first. It's the Giants nothing. Dodgers coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Derek Rodriguez is on the mound for the Giants in this one. Dan, any thoughts? One of the things that jumps out if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job, keep traffic off the bases, keep the walks down, try to limit the amount of hits. He's had a rough go of that so far this year. Let's see if he can turn it around in this one. Coming to the plate now, Justin Turner. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, not afraid to execute. The one-two is swung on and missed, strike three. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone to protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Into the box now, Corey Seager. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Looked like he swung at ball four right there. Clearly he saw something in that pitch that he liked out of the pitcher's hand, but that wasn't a pitch he was going to do a whole lot with.
And it's fouled away. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Good battle. Count remains full. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one-out walk here in the home first. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Now in the box, Mookie Betts. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Seeger stands at first with one out. Two and one now to Mookie. Guys, you take a look at the Giants as they begin play here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Maddie, these are one of those road trips where you feel like you're actually playing at home. No offense to the home crowd, but they're going to travel well. Not difficult for the fans to get in their car, hit a highway, pick up two tickets, grab a hot dog, and watch somebody go deep. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Full count. Here it comes. Down the left field line and deep. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. He'll try it again, three and two. There's Sandoval. One there. Relay to belt. They get two, and that'll end the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Thursday night baseball rolls on. We'll have more after this. the Giants number four batter Mike Yastrzemski and the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. The 1 1 is a fastball that misses. The 2 1. Hit hard to the right side. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And the leadoff man set down to start the second. The third baseman, number 48, Pablo Sandoval. Here's the panda now, Pablo Sandoval. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Grounded down the third baseline. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Again, he sends it out of play. A 
That'll nope. miss to Sandoval, who displays some rare patience that time. It's ball four. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. So one got in the inning here with the runner at first. And into bat next, it'll be Alex Dickerson. The 2 1 pitch. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. No score here as we play inning number two. Outside and a full count three and two. On deck the left handed hitting Brandon Belt. Ready? Now the payoff pitch. Fouled off. Lined but speared on a hop. The second for one. And a good save at first on the offline throw, so they just get the one. That is seven. The first baseman, number nine, Brandon. Belt. Next to bat for the Giants, Brandon Belt, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Fouled away. Base hit into the left center field gap. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1-0 lead. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone. And that'll bring up the former World Series champ, MVP, and Rookie of the Year, Buster Posey. The Giants have struck first here. They lead it 1-0 as we play the second. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. One pitch shy of 40 for him right now. And he's not even out of the second inning of work. He's definitely not being as efficient on the mound as he'd like. Down the first baseline. But a foul ball and it's full now at three and two. Payoff pitch. And the 29th pitch of the inning is swung on and missed, and that'll finally end it. Giants get one on the Brandon Belt double. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's 1-0 San Francisco. Leading off the inning, Cody Bellinger, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Full count to Bellinger, three balls, two strikes. One of my favorite pitches in the game right there, the old Greg Maddox equalizer. Start it at the front hip and bring it back. Three-two pitch. Pretty well hit deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats. Foul. That's foul off to the left side as he makes him do it again. Three and two. A 
another full count pitch home. And he fouls this one off. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Full count still. Good swing just a little early and he'll see another payoff pitch. Seven foul balls in a row. OK come on now. This is getting a little ridiculous. Don't be shocked if the pitcher throws the rosin bag at this one. The bouncer to the left side. Sandoval fields it cleanly and that's out number one. Batting fifth. The first baseman. Matt so the base is empty here with one away and that'll bring up the left handed hitter Max Muncy from the wind up the one one pitch and this is inside and winds up hitting him but he swings anyway and that's the second out. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big strong guys because once they're committed to swinging it's hard for them to slow their swings down and that appeared to be the case there. Hit out towards second. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. Dodgers down in order. They still trail one nothing. Welcome back to Dodger Stadium, where these fans have witnessed a lot of good pitching from their boys in blue this season. With the lowest team ERA in the league, it's clear they typically post solid outing after solid outing. And one of the members of their coaching staff told me a big part of that has come from their ability to limit the long ball, a category they also lead the league in. He said that forces the opposing lineups to really string together hits in order to score, because a bloop and a blast is just not something you're going to get off of us. Guys, this appears to be a really tough group of pitchers to barrel up. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Now the one and one pitch. He swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Heading out towards shallow right. Bellinger has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. So with one yeah, away now, let's quickly the give you a look at the standings in the National League West entering play today as you see where these two teams sit in relation to one another. Digging in, Wilmer Flores. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Bases are empty, one man out. Two and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. High in the air out towards shallow right. Bellinger's under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. The batter. Number 35, shortstop Brandon Crawford. Brandon Crawford digging in next. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. Two balls and a strike now. Two out, nobody on. Oh. 
Two balls and two strikes to Crawford. Grounded up the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Hey, there's not a lot you could do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. And he popped him up. Turner in foul ground. But this will land untouched. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Well, he gives up the walk, but that was a really good pitch. Might have been just out of the zone, but not by much. A lot of guys would have gone fishing for that pitch, so sometimes the hitter just outlasts you. Here's the right fielder, Hunter Pence. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Popped up. McKinstry is under it, and that retires the side. Giants leave one, but they lead it one to nothing. Standing in, Will Smith. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Sent on the ground out to second. Flores has it. Throw on to first in time, one away. Batting eight. The second baseman. Head spray. Stepping up to the plate, Zach McKinstry. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. Count full, three balls and two strikes. And the payoff pitch. This one for Crawford at short. Right to him. In time to first, and there are two away. Batting back. The pitcher, Walker. Wheeler. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Walker Bueller. Dodgers have yet to break into the hit column here. On the screws to shortstop, but caught to retire the side. One, two, three go the Dodgers. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. Between innings, I was able to discuss the current state of the Giants lineup with their manager, Gabe Kapler. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. All right. Thanks, Heidi. All set for the start of the inning and standing in the outfielder, Mike Yastrzemski. The one two.
A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Wow, that's the case right there where a pitcher knows this guy's up there and he's in swing mode. That pitch wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he still swung at it. Stepping in now, Pablo Sandoval. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. And it's fouled away. The payoff pitch one more time. Locks him up for strike three. So in now for San Francisco, Alex Dickerson. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. High in the air into shallow left center. Seeger is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Giants one and the Dodgers nothing. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the third baseman, Justin Turner. The 1 1. Hit back up the middle. That's a hit, the first in this game for the Dodgers. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. In now, Corey Seager. Strike two taken. A fastball that clips the inside black. The one two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Yastrzemski's got it, and there's one gone. So, with a runner at first and one gone, time to bring in our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And whoa, you see the big number. How about 99 for a top speed? Not too many guys around the league can match that. One gone now in the Dodger fourth, and that'll bring up Mookie Betts. No runs, just one hit. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Steal. Runners off for second. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Back goes Yastrzemski. He gets there, and that's the second out. Next will be the Dodgers cleanup hitter Cody Bellinger. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The 1 1 home. as they're kept off the scoreboard again and the inning is over. Dodgers leave one. They trail this one one to nothing. Stepping in, Brandon Belt. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. And that's been their only hit so far in this one. They've been dealing with some really great pitching in this game. and two strikes some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both the lefty and a right hander up and throwing a 
And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. Belt on his way to second. And this is off the fence right in front of the Dodger bullpen. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year. But you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Here's Buster Posey now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now the one and one pitch makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. Ooh, that was an ugly swing. If I'm pitching right now, I'm throwing that same pitch again. That was ugly. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations now, these days. What makes it so effective? Garrett. I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good, high, hard fastball. Hit the other way out toward right field. Bellinger's under it. Two gone. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Now batting, second baseman, Wilmer Flores. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Wilmer Flores. He struck out and flied out, 0 for 2 so far. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Liner toward right center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. He pulls into second safely as a run will score on the play as well. When you drive the ball into the gap like that, nothing but good things can happen. Neither one of the outfielders had the wheels to catch up to it, and he glides easily into second for a double. Now we'll see if the guys behind him can get him in. Into the box, Brandon Crawford skied in the air to straightaway left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Giants get a run on the RBI double. Bottom of the fifth coming up. It's now 2 0 San Francisco. Welcome back to Dodger Stadium. Let's send it down to the field in Heidi Watney. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, a Dodger skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Now the one and one pitch. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. Taken in by Flores, and a good throw gets him one gone. Now batter, the center fielder, John Peterson. So one away here with the bases empty, and in steps a former World Series hero, the outfielder Jock Peterson. No runs, just one hit. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. Now back. Standing in, Will Smith. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Line to the right side, and that'll get down for a two out single. 
Yeah, man, he's locked in and pretty dominant since the first. So as long as he can get back in that groove with the next batter, he's not going to worry too much about it. So now to the plate, Zach McKinstry. High in the air into shallow left center. Yastrzemski coming on. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. One left for L.A. They're down two to nothing. Scott Alexander is on his way into the ball game now as he'll be making his 50th appearance of the year. Alexander. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Hunter Pence. Hey. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. Alexander is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one-time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Now back. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Mike Yastrzemski. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it, 2 and 1. Now the Dodgers get a right-hander up and throwing in their bullpen. The 2 1. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. One out, nobody on. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Here's the 2-2. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. There's the Panda on deck. He'll bat next. Three-two pitch. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. At the plate, Pablo Sandoval. Now a swing and a fly ball. Right fielder is on the run, but this will land untouched. Bases are empty here with two men out. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Uh, he did well to get a piece that time, and it'll stay two and two. Now here's the pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. He's got it. Throw on to Muncie. Gets him. And with that, they'll end the inning. Giants down in order as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Chris Taylor is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. Outside two and one Taylor 
Originally from the state of Virginia, he was a fifth round pick during the first year player draft of 2012. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. And he struck him out. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike now out there, and it just seems like we've seen play. so many off-balance swings and weakly hit balls in this one. Standing in now, Justin Turner. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Now at the plate, Corey Seager. He flew out in his last at bat. Here's the 1 1. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Pence will wait on it as he tucks this one away to retire the side. Dodgers down in order. They're still down. It's 2 0. Ross Stripling is on his way into the ballgame now as he'll be making his 50th appearance of the year. Number 68. Seventh inning ready to roll, and in a bat next, it'll be Alex Dickerson. Here's the one and one delivery. Count is two and one. A swing and a miss there, two and two. This pitcher is bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. Hit hard to the right. Foul. The 2 2 one more time. Chopped at the plate. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now batting the first baseman, Brandon Bell. Here's the first baseman, Brandon Bell. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. The 1-1. One, one. Hit on the and that is off the first base bag and they'll recover and get an out on the play. My goodness. The catcher number 28. Buster. So two away now in the San Francisco seventh and that brings up Buster Posey. Liner towards second. And that is in there for a two out base knock. Now batting the pitcher, Derek Rodriguez. At the plate now, Derek Rodriguez. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. A runner on first with two away. And that pitch comes over to catch the corner. It's two and two now.
and he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Here comes the payoff pitch. Popped him up. Muncie over to his left. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. One hit, one left. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. It's the Giants two, and the Dodgers nothing. Last half of the seventh here, and coming forward the veteran outfielder, Mookie Betts. He's starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. But he is able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. And now they'll hustle out there and attend to their pitcher. And that was quite a shot he took as you see him down on a knee. But if there's one thing I know about this guy, he will not want to come out of this game. And from all indications, it looks like he's going to try to continue. So here's the cleanup hitter, Cody Bellinger. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. 3 2 counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. In the air, down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The 3 2, one more time. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. Well, the reason power okay. hitters generally draw more walks day. than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Next up is Max Muncy. Third trip to the plate for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. The 1 1. Breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. The 2 2. Seared down the first baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it 2 and 2. Pause. Now the pitch. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Now the three and two pitch. Hey, this is a heck of a battle right here. Long A-B. You know what? They find themselves still facing the starter. If they would have had some A-Bs like this earlier in the game, I, I think they get into the bullpen by this time. The next 3 2. Donnie finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. When you're this deep into a start, it can be really exhausting and annoying when a hitter makes you work as hard as he did right there. He got the strikeout, that's great, but he's probably thinking, get that guy out of here. To the plate now, Jock Peterson. Now a swing, and he pops him up right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory and that ends the inning. Dodgers leave one. They trail things here two to nothing.
New inning set to get underway. And up next, the utility man, Wilmer Flores. The 1-1. One, one. Here's a blooper out toward left center. And there's a base hit. So a chance to add a little insurance here as the leadoff man is on to start the eighth. Boy, this guy's Down been back. swinging a hot stick lately, and there's just another Brandon. example. And even when he doesn't hit one on the barrel, he still manages another base hit. Yeah, don't overthink it. When you're flowing like he is right now, he's hot as a pistol. Everything's falling. Into the box, Brandon Crawford. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Runner at first with no outs here. Hit softly down the line at first, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. And this is swung on and missed as Crawford is set down on strikes one away. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Right Spotted it nicely right down right. around the bottom of the zone. Yeah. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. All right, in now, Hunter Pence. Now a foul tip that's held onto with the plate, and the count moves to one and two now. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. Runners on first with one down. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Into the box now. Mike Yastrzemski lifted down the line in left. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Two out with the man at first. Fouled off. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Saws him off with that one. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. One left for San Francisco. They're up two to nothing. Next up for Los Angeles, Will Smith. One for two on his line so far in the game. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. 
And this is low, ball two, two and one. Time to be alert for signs of tiring here in the eighth. He's a pitch away from 100. Man, I love this right now. He's given it everything he has, given this team depth, allowing the manager to pick some serious matchups when it comes to going to the bullpen, Dan. Oh, you nailed that, D-Road. Now you could go to your go-to guys, the troubleshooters, the guy you want to bring into close games. Anytime a starter can get you through seven innings, the eighth inning, it's a bonus. A job well done so far. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Once again, a 3-2. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. That's what you call a clutch piece of hitting. Down two runs. He puts himself in scoring position and brings the tying run to the plate. We'll see what they do with the base open here. This one's getting interesting. Now here's the Giants manager making that slow walk to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So as he departs, he'll remain responsible for the man left the board, but he cannot lose this one. Sean Anderson is on to pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. Number 64, Sean Anderson. At the plate, Zach McKinstry, who represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it, so he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. No one out with a runner at second. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The one-two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Matt Beatty will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 45. Baby. And try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. For me, check swings are right there next now to bang bang place at first as the most difficult calls for him to make. Taking a look at show motion. The batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Corey Seager would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Two out here and a runner at second. hit the other way out toward right field. Pence on the run. He dives, but he can't make the play, and this one hops over the wall for a ground rule double. And this thing bounces over the wall, but I don't think it would have mattered if it stayed in the ballpark. Either way, the runner was going to score, and he was going to wind up at second. He drove that ball really nicely. At the plate, Corey Seager. A swing and a liner to left center field, and that's going to drop in for a base hit. The relay, the throw, and he's tagged out at second. But one run does come in to score on the play before the inning comes to an end. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and no one left on base. Ninth inning coming up, and we are tied 2-2. Blake Trinan will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. So now to the plate, Pablo Sandoval. 
And he misses two and one. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Now the 2 1 pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Bellinger's in pursuit. But he can't get there, and it bounces over the wall. It's a ground rule double. Well, that will bring a smile to a manager's face every single time. First hitter of the inning just squares it up and bounces it over the fence. Even if it stays in the yard, that's a double either way. And time will be called here as with the important go-ahead run at second base, they'll opt to go and get a little more speed out there. And that'll bring up the big bat of Alex Dickerson. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Sometimes you can get away with a pitch in that location when you're running it up there that hard, but not consistently. You still have to work the edges of the zone most of the time. And he got him. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. Textbook sinker. At the plate now, Brandon Belt hit hard on the ground towards second, reined in. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. So striding forward now, Buster Posey. And he bats in a big spot here. Go ahead, run at third, two men out. Swing and a ground ball to third. Throw on to Muncie, gets him, and with that, they'll end the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. The Dodgers with a chance to walk it off as we go to the last of the night. Evan Longoria has come into the ballgame now as he takes over as the new third baseman. Number 10, Evan all set for the bottom of the ninth. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. The 2-2. Hits the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. The Giants are into their bullpen now, as there are the now final that, numbers for their Cooper. starter. He was Cody. great all night long. Hey, one of the things you can't control as a starting pitcher is whether you're going to win or lose the game. He pitched awfully well in this one. As of right now, he's in line for a no decision. To the plate now, Cody Bellinger. A great pitch there, as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. That was a nasty-looking slider now that back. time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. In now, Max Muncy. Fouled away. Here's the one and two. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to two and two now. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Jock Peterson would be next. And 
and he lays off ball four. So now the potential winning run is aboard at first. Now back, center fielder. Here's Jock Peterson now. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. The one and one pitch. And he fouls this one off. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. Still even at two and two. Two and two, the pitch. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. One left for L.A., and this game is still tied at two and two. Donovan Solano is up off the bench to pinch hit here, so we'll see what he can do to begin the extra frame. Donovan Solano. get out of the way of that one so the leadoff man will be on to open the frame well he might be feeling a little bit of a sting there but he could take comfort in knowing that he represents the go ahead run that could turn out to be a huge hit by pitch striding in once again Wilmer Flores go ahead run at first nobody out One and one pitch. Got it back in time there, and it's two and one. As a look, now the pitch. Trying to get that go-ahead run to scoring position now as he puts this one down. Throw's going to go on to first, so a perfect sacrifice there as now the go-ahead run moves into scoring position here. Brandon Crawford. So a big moment in the ball game here. Brandon Crawford. And he could very well get the intentional pass here as that would set up a potential double play ball that might keep the game tied. One and two now as that one's fouled off. For the current campaign, Crawford has a slugging percentage a little over 425, a respectable number. lifted down the line and left on the move is bets and he dives but he can't make the play it lands foul another one sent foul Count still at one and two. Ready with another two strike offering. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats and all in all he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. 
it's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Standing in now, Hunter Pence. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at-bat here. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. Oh. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Strikes him out here for round number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. So one will win it here as we go to the bottom of inning number 10. And we are tied 2-2. Danny Jimenez comes on to start the home 10th, and he's just hoping to get this one into the 11th inning. Plate, Will Smith. So far, two for three in this one. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Two and two to the Dodgers catcher. Here now the 2-2. Fly ball right down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Yastrzemski's got it and there's one gone. Now batting the second baseman. Next for the Dodgers, Zach McKinstry. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. And this is down for extra bases. And there's your winning run moving into scoring position. And he will make it into second base as the winning run is in scoring position now with only one away. And if you start to think about a pinch hitter, here's what the Dodgers have remaining on their bench. A.J. Pollock will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Number 11, A.J. Possible game winners at second base here with one away. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. swing and a fly ball and it's a foul ball here's the 2-2 pitch slow roller out to short scooped up throw in time at first for route number two the battle the third baseman just there Turner. At the plate, Justin Turner. And he's got a chance to bring in the winning run. The question is whether they'll even pitch to him. Just off the end of the bat, it's a foul ball, and he'll stick around. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. 
Now the three and two pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Ball game. So a two run homer down the line in left. And none bigger than that one as this ball game is over. Hey, when you get the extra innings, you're looking to piece together a rally or scratch any runs you can across the plate. But he says, hey, to heck with that. I'm going to do it with one swing of the bat. So a walk-off home run ends this thing in extras. That was fun. It was mostly pitching and defense in this one, but the man you see here made some noise with the bat, and as a result, he's our top player of the game. Yeah, he wound up with three quarters of the cycle. Couldn't get the toughest one of them all, a triple, but it was still an outstanding showing with the bat. Four to two, the final score tonight. Blake Trinan earns his third win of the year in relief. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Dodgers, four runs, seven hits, no errors. They left six men on base. For the Giants, two runs, six hits, no errors. They left seven men on base.